In this video, Thermal Desorption GCMS will be described as a tool for the screening of extractables in pharmaceutical packaging. ENL or extractables and leachables are major concerns in pharmaceutical packaging and products due to potential safety and integrity issue of the drug products. Extractables are compounds that can be extracted from a pharmaceutical packaging under certain conditions, for example by solvent and or with heating. Whereas leachables are compounds that migrate from pharmaceutical packaging into the drug itself under normal storage condition. Here, a simple method of volatiles and semivolatiles extractables screening in pharmaceutical packaging will be described using direct thermal desorption or direct TD, coupled with GCMS. In this experiment, a packaging of an ophthalmic solution was subjected to extractable screening. The packaging consisted of a bottle, a nozzle, and a cap. They were analyzed separately. In direct TD analysis, an empty thermal desorption tube or TD tube with no adsorbent is used. The sample was cut into small pieces and placed inside the TD tube. Glass wool was positioned on each side of the sample to prevent the sample from being expelled out of the tube during the analysis. The filled TD sample tube was placed on the tray of the thermal desorption system. The auto sampler arm transferred the TD tube to the heater. The TD system proceeded to heat the sample in order to extract the volatile and semi-volatile extractables from the cut packaging material. Carrier gas transferred the extractables vapor to a cool trap inside the TD system for further concentration and focusing. Subsequently, the trap was heated to desorb the extractables. After desorption, the extractables were subjected to GCMS analysis for separation and detection. Shimadzu Thermal Desorption System is connected to GCMS through its short transfer line which minimizes dead volume. Additionally, the whole TD sample line, including the transfer line, can be heated with no cold points so that even highly adsorbent components can be analyzed with high sensitivity. Sample will be sent directly to the column in the GC which is connected to the TD transfer line for separation and subsequently to MS for detection. After heating and extraction were completed, the auto sampler arm returned the TD sample tube to the tray. These are the resulting chromatograms of extractables from an ophthalmic solution packaging by direct TD GCMS analysis. The bottle and the nozzle have similar chromatogram profiles because they are made of the same polymer, while the chromatogram of the cap, which is made of a different polymer, has a different pattern. The extractables identification was performed using this library and Shimadzu Polymer Additives Library. The Polymer Additives Library has additional information such as possible original additive name, if the detected compound is a breakdown of an additive, as well as the additive type, for example a fire retardant. This is a summary of the volatile and semi-volatile extractable results in the packaging. Three types of plasticizers, PEAK 9, 12 and 13, which are common additives in polymers, were detected. Various breakdown species of polymer additives, for example antioxidant, lubricant, fire retardant and stabilizer were identified too, as remarked in the table. Acetone, a residual solvent, was also identified in all samples. In this video, direct thermal desorption GCMS system was shown to be suitable for the screening of extractables in pharmaceutical packaging. Sample was simply cut into small pieces and placed inside the TD sample tube. The TD short transfer line minimizes dead volume and its sample line is fully heated with no cold spot, enabling high sensitivity detection even for highly adsorbent components. Excellence in Science Shimazu